guys what's up welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for watching for those of you who are new here my name is steph and welcome back to another day of vlogmas today is an fyi before you buy on the aritzia wilford free divinity jumpsuit this has been all over tiktok oh my god this has been the jumpsuit du jour um, I was definitely not sold on it last summer when it came out, but I have since become a jumpsuit convert. So we are going to be talking about it today because I did get my hands on it. And I think a lot of people are looking at it going, I don't know if I want it. I don't know, but I'm hoping I can answer some questions for you guys, help you guys maybe form a more educated decision, convince you, not convince you, whatever, but... If you want to see and hear more about my thoughts on the Aritzia Divinity jumpsuit, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I have to say is I'm really sorry about the lighting. I normally film during the day and it actually is during the day. It's just December in Canada. So we have like zero natural light apparently. And it's been stormy and gray all day. So I had to turn on some indoor lights and they're coming right from my face. And I look pale. Um, I am a little bit pale, but like this is washing me out. So I'm really sorry. We are gonna, we're gonna have to deal with it for the next month and a bit while we are getting some daylight back. But yeah, I don't know how people who live in places without any sun at this time of the year do it or like any day at all. Like we have day, um, but it's just been gloomy and overcast all day. So it's not really a big day, but anyways. Okay, let's jump into the review. First things first, this jumpsuit is $98. Most Aritzia jumpsuits in the regular length are $98. This comes in three different lengths for this particular style, short, regular, and tall. Then it also comes in kick flare and romper, and the romper comes in three inch, five inch, and seven inch. So we're just gonna be talking about the regular right now. I do love that there are different end seams, however, with Aritzia inseams, whenever they add inseams to something, they change the product a little bit. And I don't own any original Divinity jumpsuits, but just keep that in mind that, and maybe if you did buy one historically and they've since changed this sort of like inseam thing, it might not fit the same or be the same length as you're expecting. But they say that the Divinity jumpsuit is for heights 5'3 to 5'7". Now, if I'm being honest with you guys, I am over 5'7". I think I'm like just under 5'9". And yeah, the regular fits me just fine. Um, I have this whole thing with Aritzia inseams where I genuinely don't understand where they're coming from anymore because sometimes like with their denim forum, they say, oh, like a 28. And then it's like, mm, but I think I have a 30 inseam, but this is, this is too like this is perfect and then the 30 inseam is like too long for me so maybe i just have my inseam wrong or maybe the inseams are a little inconsistent i'm gonna go with that because especially with the like melina pants guys i think the trials and tribulations of the melina pants have finally got the best of all of us and we've all just sort of collectively been like meh <laughs> you know um no shade if, any, if you still like the Molina pants. I mean, I did love mine for a really long time, but there were just so many size inconsistencies and I'm kind of, I don't think that this jumpsuit has the same issue given the nature of it, but just do be careful that sometimes when they change things like this, like the inseams, they do change the sizing. I wear a size small and this is the color peppercorn gray. Um, it's usually not in, Dock, sort of but there are also like six different divinity jumpsuit like listings there's like a new one oh so okay i don't have the one that has any inseam differences so the wilfred free divinity jumpsuit scoot back jumpsuit also available in romper i have this one then there's another that has different lengths so let me talk about this one <laughs> It says one piece wonder inspired by 90s dance attire this full length body hugging jumpsuit with a low scoop back and a straight neckline it's cut from high stretch sweat wicking fabric and with a buttery soft feel it's honestly almost the same fabric as the tna butter fabric they don't talk about it but it is it's the same fabric um this is just well for free and i don't think that they can you say that it's the tna butter fabric 
because it's not a TNA thing and it's copyrighted or whatever for like TNA, but yeah, it's, it's effectively the same material as the other one, as like the TNA butter fabric, if you're wondering. There's a bunch of different colors. I have peppercorn gray. I would also love Turner taupe. I love this color. Um, and it goes from 2XS, 2XS to 2XL. So again, I always talk about this with Aritzia. Just to reiter reiterate, if you've heard me kick this dead horse before, you can skip ahead. But I think Aritzia needs to do better with especially their larger sizes. Other companies now are coming out with uh, 3XX, 4XX, sorry, 3XL, 4XL, and 5XL as a regular course of business, or at least releasing certain styles to those size groups. And I do think that every size group should have access to every piece of clothing. The bare minimum somebody can do is actually make at least some of their styles accessible to more people. I really wish Aritzia would do this. I think at this point, even adding a 3XL would cater to more people it's now proven that there is a market for larger sizes i say this every single time skims has done it fenty has done it so many other companies are doing it aritzia it is time to get into the 2022 2023 mindset let's be inclusive now shall we okay size rant done i talk about it every time so i'm not gonna like beat the dead horse too too much beyond just being like hi i'm beating the dead horse because i do talk about it every time I think that these are pretty true to size. I usually am a size small kind of across the board. I got a size small in this and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it does hold up and their size chart on this one was pretty accurate. It is 81% nylon, 90, 19% elastin. That is fairly standard for a material like this from what I have found so far. Obviously, you can machine wash it. It's of imported materials, size and fit, tight, a close fit that hugs the body length ankle. It does hit my ankle. The model is five foot ten or 178 centimeters. I'm like 173 centimeters, I think. I forget how tall I am. I'm like just I'm like five eight and three quarters or something. We'll round up to five nine to make myself feel better. Um, and where the size small, I'm like a bit shorter than her and if it's me almost the same way. And then it says on average customers say it does fit true to size. So yeah, I do agree with that. Okay, if you have seen my rhythm jumpsuit one, or if this is the first one you're seeing, I'm gonna just stand up and talk about it and kind of take you guys through my experience because you guys can go read the website, but truly what you're here for is my opinion. So let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna notice about this is it has a seam down the middle and across at sort of for me it's a little bit lower than my waist i i have kind of a high waist but a lot of torso sort of situation i'm mostly torso so this is okay i mean it sort of hits like a belt it would be a lot more flattering i mean a lot meaning like an inch higher more flattering if it was it would just like it would hit at the apex of my waist if it was a little bit higher, but it's not. I also want to point out that because the light is coming at me straight on, I'm losing a lot of contrast here because of all the shadows behind me. So like the way it's all going. So just please keep that in mind that it's not like as good as when I film in natural light. I'm really sorry about that. Canada is doing me dirty with the sunshine lack of outside so keep that in mind um the contrast is just not there as you can see by my face you can't see any any things but i have pimples like all here so just know this is just lighting tricking everything apparently okay so this has seams here it has seams here it has it has a gusset seam i forgot to mention that in my rhythm one they all have gusset seams which i don't like why are the gussets so small <laughs> then it has internal seams it has an inseam and then it has seams down the side and that split which do kind of create a sort of flattering moment and then they have seams at the back and of course and this does scoop down at the back it doesn't um doesn't sit flat which i like this i really like the scoop it reminds me of my ballerina it reminds me of my ballerina days, you know, where you're just like, you got to sit like this. Oh, 
forever and then your arms would die but your back would be jacked and your arms would be lovely just from like holding it for like two hours because your dance teacher was in a mood or something yeah anybody who did ballet growing up will feel me on that one but you know it is nice it's flattering i i love a scoop back like this moment i think it really does hit right at a perfect point it's not too high it's not too low um it's very buttery soft very comfortable but with the buttery soft with the comfort there's not a lot of support up here i talk about this extensively in my rhythm jumpsuit one it's the same thing this fabric doesn't have a ton of compression to it it doesn't have a lot of thickness to it it's very soft very stretchy really great but it's kind of nipply and if you do have a larger chest there's not that compression that's going to keep your girls locked in so keep that in mind and with the scoop back it makes it more challenging to find a bra or something that would fit underneath it so should they maybe release a version that does have a little shelf bra situation that would be great for people but it is not what it is right now for that so just keep that in mind that if you are more better endowed up at the top um, i am not so that's not a good reference point for me but i think if you do find that you need more support this might not be the jumpsuit for you i recommend a thicker jumpsuit that has a little bit more compression to the fabric now there are adjustable straps so if you do want to change where it sits on you you can do that and again you can sort of play around with how it sits but it is just a mono jumpsuit so if you're not into this look it's not going to be the right fit for you but overall i do think it is very comfy and very great i have yet to find that the seam causes an unnecessary amount of camel toe but do i find that it kind of creates a weird visual moment down there at particular times yes is it a full camel toe no but do i wish the seam didn't do that down there yes but it's not as terrible as i actually thought it was and that was kind of my whole like hesitation with this and especially with lighter colors it's more obvious like i mean with a black like it's not as noticeable but this is a sort of mid-tone gray it's it's not terrible anyways i do really love this overall i think for the price it's like 98 dollars. it's not terrible it's obviously not as inexpensive as some of the other options but if you are comparing this with like the align or the set active kind of versions it's actually the best price if you are in canada so and i think it's cute and there's different lengths different styles and there's actually a ton of different colors super cute but that is kind of my thoughts on it i do really like it i don't have a lot of things to say about it i think you know maybe i also like i didn't point this out in my rhythm jumpsuit one but i will point it out here and i'll put a little text disclaimer on the screen but like my body type um is very similar to the models that they use to like on the website so i didn't have as much of like as much difficulty like determining if this would work for me now i think if you are larger more mid-size and more plus size to use just conventional terms um i don't think you're gonna have an issue with this now the fabric is not compressed like not compression right so it's not gonna hide it's not gonna smooth it's not gonna keep you in as much i mean even like even when i have food right like you're always gonna see that like you're always gonna see something and that's totally natural so i think that don't let that deter you if you want it i think part and parcel of something like this is that it's the fabric is so soft so when you do walk things are gonna move if you have a butt dimple your butt dimple might show but that's okay it's a part of what the fabric is it's a nature of the fabric this fabric though is not purposefully unflattering or like it doesn't just like make you look like there's some fabrics like the knit crepe sort of situation that is actually unflattering like that accentuates every wrong thing we're well, not wrong thing every uncomfortable thing or every insecurity i feel like i have that the dress that i have in that fabric just completely accentuates it for some reason if your stomach is a little bloaty i feel like it just clings and then shows it 
hip dips. Oh yeah, let's just accentuate those. It doesn't really do anything for it because of how it sits on your body. I don't think these do that in that same way. I think because of the skin tight nature, because of the lack of compression, yes, it'll show maybe a little bit more of your stomach or if you have some cellulite or some dimples, it will show those, but I don't think that it highlights them and makes them unflattering, if that makes sense. I think other fabrics really accentuate those negatively. I think this, they're just sort of there and it's a great moment to embrace that. Like this doesn't hide my hip dips at all, but I've kind of been like, you know what? That's the nature of the beast. I have hip dips and I'm okay with it. So just keep that in mind. Like they're not, this isn't like a, like a skims, like contour bodysuit. It's not going to cinch your waist in. It's not going to lift your butt. It's not going to do that. It is very comfortable and it is a beautiful layering piece. And it is just so fun to like put on a onesie. That's just my two cents on it. I think really like there are so many things to be uncomfy about, but like you should not be uncomfy in your clothes. And these are actually really comfy and <laughs> they're good. So I give this a seal of approval. I was very surprised with this, but if you guys liked this review, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you do want to see this compared to the rhythm jumpsuit, there is a video. Um, if you're seeing this in Vlogmas, there's a video on the way. If you're seeing this after Vlogmas, it's already up. So go check it out if you want to see them head to head. And I will see you guys in the next video.